Acropora corals are a type of SPS, or small polyp stony coral, and they're one of the most demanding corals that we keep in the aquarium hobby because they don't tolerate swings in water chemistry nearly as easily as many other species of coral do. Now, there's over 150 varieties of Acropora documented by science, and uh, they come in every color of the rainbow, pretty much. In the aquarium tray, we're lucky enough to have some of the most vibrant and colorful forms. In the wild, you see a lot more drab colors overall. Now, a lot of customers ask me, what are the tricks to keeping Acropora and getting them happy and getting them to color up fully? And I can say that you definitely want to make sure to maintain consistent water quality. Compared to many other types of coral, Acroporas are not as tolerant of swings in water chemistry, especially alkalinity. Um, so you need to keep the levels very constant. Ideally, you want to keep your alkalinity between 8 and 9.5, and unless you're doing carbon dosing, in which case I recommend a lower alk of about 7 to 8. Now, magnesium, you'd like to keep between 1260 and 1350, and your calcium, ideally between 420 and 440 parts per million. Now, in terms of coloration, it's very important to get the phosphate low. You want to keep phosphates below 0 0.03 parts per million for the best coloration. Usually, we'll run our media till the levels hit about 0 0.06 or 0 0.08 parts per million, and we definitely switch it out for a new batch. Now, in terms of nitrates, you want to keep them low, but not too low. There is definitely a thing as a tank that's running too clean. And our tank has had that problem over the years. We had an instance where it was running so clean, we we're wondering why are we losing stuff. It was actually because we just didn't have any detectable nitrate and the corals were actually starving. So what we did is increase the feeding heavily and we found that they do it much better with a nitrate level of about one to two parts per million. That seems to be the sweet spot, at least for our systems here at Vivid Aquariums. Now, there's several types of parasites that can affect acroporas, namely red bugs, which are very tiny little red bugs that you'll see. You, know, you have to almost have your nose to the glass to detect them, but they're the size of a pinhead and you'll see them crawling all over the corals. They definitely are more noticeable on smooth skin acroporas. They don't, not nearly as noticeable on something like a milliopora. It is very hairy with lots of polyp extension. The best treatment for red bugs that we've found to date is Interceptor, which is actually a dog heartworm medicine. It's only available through prescription from your vet, but usually if you can find a local vet to cooperate with you, you can get it. And uh, it's actually a very simple treatment to do once you have the Interceptor. You just put it in the water overnight for about 12 hours and it works like a charm beautifully. Usually you want to do one treatment a week for three weeks, uh, and that'll definitely knock out red bugs very easily. They're probably the easiest parasite of all coral parasites we deal with. Acropora eating flatworms uh, will eat the corals slowly, usually up from the base or the inner part of the coral. Now there's some fish and wrasses that are good at eating them. You can actually turkey base them off of the coral and fish will eat them. But to really get them out of the tank, you want to dip the corals and make sure to notice the eggs. Now we have separate videos on dipping and inspecting corals and quarantining them. I definitely recommend that for more detail. But definitely know what acroporian flatworms look like. Learn to recognize the eggs. You can scrub the eggs off with a toothbrush or even cover them with glue. We do have a separate video about treating red bugs and acroporian flatworms and dipping and quarantining your corals. So you might refer to that for more detailed information. Acropora corals demand brighter light than most any other type of coral you're going to keep in the aquarium hobby. They want to par anywhere from 350 all the way up to 450, sometimes even 550. Very bright lighting is definitely needed to get the brightest coloration out of your aquapora corals. In addition to very high lighting, they demand high water flow and changing water flow. So using a controllable power head such as the Ecotech MP power head or Tunzi, anything that's going to give you variable controllable flow is really a worthwhile investment if you're going to keep aquaporas. In conclusion, to keep aquapora corals and get them colored brightly, you want to maintain very stable water chemistry, keep an eye on your nitrates, don't run a tank too clean, one to two parts per million. Keep your phosphates low, media switched out regularly, and uh, make sure to provide changing water movement and very bright lighting. You'll have a lot of fun growing acros.